here let me just turn the game drive radio around so we've got the sticks uh, i'm going to show you them in a moment and we're moving quite quickly and i don't know what they'd seen i wonder if it was just one of the the youngsters that perhaps got left behind it was uh, trying to catch up to mom let's go off-road because we can traverse here let's do that we're just coming off Ledwood Road nice thing you find a sneaky gap and also a spot that we're not going to fall into a mud wallow we've left Nsuku still sleeping surprise surprise and uh, we'll catch up with him hopefully he'll still be around but here they are and they're just stopping now uh, I don't really want to fall into that and I also don't want to block these guys view so I'm just gonna go a little bit further forward just chatting quickly to orbs there we go now the car that's also parked on the boundary um, can have a look too how exciting is this now uh, that lioness seems to be showing uh, well she's not happy obviously on the way that she is sort of lifting her her lips exposing her teeth that's not normally a good sign I don't think it's towards us though I don't know why she would have showed that she was really unhappy with us but here's one of the older sticks cup I haven't seen them for a long time now now, JC, you're wondering if there's any word on the rest of the Styx Cubs. Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea. Uh, I, like I said, it's going to take me a couple of days to get back into everything to find out where the lions have been. At the moment, it's just one lioness here with a youngster. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think there were, were there six. There were six Styx Cubs, four younger ones, and uh, and then also the two older cubs but I literally have not seen them for a very long time the last time I'd spotted them uh, it was a, not the greatest view of them uh, it was with Hosanna he was up a tree they had apparently chased him up a tree it was just actually quite close to twin dams all the action seems to be ha hanging around this area again water which is one thing we need to keep in mind during these dry seasons is that water is vital than the vegetation itself so they will we will have a lot of sightings around Bivol's Dam around Wuttela Dam and around them don't see that I don't know what's upset her so much hello girl she's happy to walk past the car not worried at all see then she's not so she's not upset with the cars I wonder if she actually hasn't smelt something see that she keeps sort of maybe they're hunting that could be another uh, another uh, potential option maybe she's looking for the rest of the pride there's three adult lionesses in the sticks pride now hello beautiful you've got lovely eyes don't you but you can see unfortunately they've still got they're not the cleanest looking lions they're not like the Ngohumas but we know that the sticks do carry mange and they haven't seemed to beat it what are you looking at I'm gonna quickly uh, did you see anything orbs oh impala fantastic so William and Aubrey are just sitting here the uh, guide and tracker team from Juma now they obviously they actually came across and remember I said to you that they were going to go and see if they could follow up on them they said that there are some impala and we're in the same area where we had that incredible sighting where the impala walked right in front of Tandy do you remember that on the fire break it was a couple maybe even a month ago now maybe a bit longer ago with Sebastian and I and the impala do really 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 like it around this area again the wind just blew my hood on. Maybe it was just after staying like that for the rest of the day. So that's obviously what's happening. Now, well, an impala is not a great meal. She's, I don't think she's enjoying this cub. I think she's actually agitated that the fact that the cub is around and could potentially ruin the hunt. And that's uh, exactly what I think's going on. I, I mean, she's growling. Yeah, the cub just sat down. Yeah, you better listen. Now, I don't know if this is the mother of the cub. You can see that uh, definitely have has had youngsters suckling off of her. These cubs should be about six, maybe even older, seven, seven, eight months old now, I'm trying to think. The youngest ones must be close to about six months now. Like I said, it's so hard to keep track, especially when you don't see these animals for a very, very long time. So there's lots of vehicles coming through here now. And so what we're going to do is most of you know I don't like to crowd the animals so as soon as there's too many people on the boundary 
and I feel like these animals are being pressured, I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Uh, that's just that's just me and how I feel about the animals. I'm just checking. So I haven't seen where the others are. Okay, Senzel, can you see the impala? Let's just show you what they're looking at. Down there is a gap. So you'll see a power line, and that's because we have these power lines on the main roads. So there's an entire herd of impala just down there, completely unaware of the lion's presence. And they're actually downwind of the impala, which is where they want to be. In fact, you can see there's just a vehicle in the bottom left-hand corner. They're near the guards that are on the, on the boundary. And they're completely unaware of uh, the lion's presence and that's what the lions want the lions want that to happen they've actually got a very good chance here lots and lots of timberties around here that would create good coverage and also uh, quite a few drainage systems so they could go in they could get right underneath yeah let's just watch this lioness she's not happy with this youngster um, they could literally get right underneath uh, the impala and then well lions move very quickly with a charging speed of 22 meters per second before that impala could even twitch its ear. Uh, hopefully the sticks lines could catch one of them. Like I said, not a big meal though, uh, but it's better than nothing. You've got to take what you can get out here, especially when you unfortunately have a parasite attacking you constantly. They can't seem to get rid of this mange. In fact, I actually must say, I think, in my opinion, from the last time that I saw them, I think that this lioness looks in fairly good condition. I mean, I remember last year, oh, it was so sad. It was really absolutely devastating. Watch the, well, see, it's definitely got mange, but at this age, I think it'll do all right. As long as they constantly uh, keep getting, uh, what is wrong with me? I'm so excited now. As long as they're constantly catching things, and eating and drinking and staying sort of fit and healthy, they'll be fine. It will be there, but they'll be okay. And Liz, thank you, you also agree, you also say that they look uh, in, in much better condition. And their condition will improve, uh, just because now there's a better opportunity for them to catch animals. The herbivores are going to start to get weaker and weaker now because there's not enough uh, vegetation around, well, not any vegetation that's got really any good sustenance to it. Uh, and that's when the, uh, the lions and the leopards and the hyenas and all the different predators, uh, you really, really get to see how uh, amazing they are. And some it's a bit more difficult for them. All the vegetation is lush and green. The animals are healthy. They fight back. But this is the better time for them. And again, though, I suppose it's much of a muchness because the rain is really good for mange as well. I can hear the ox pickers. They're flying overhead. I wonder if they know that the, well, the impala now. I'm just trying to think. Senzel, if I swing right, uh, left hand down, am I going to miss those mud wallows that are behind us? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I actually want to go along the fire break. I want to see if I can't find the other lionesses, but I also don't want to drive. Okay. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll actually send you across to Tristan now while I try and navigate and we'll also fight the wind. So we'll see you in a little bit.